and the next one is SIADH syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone so this also you might be studied previously due to some cancers as we discussed before paraneoplastic syndrome like the cancer is able to produce ectopic hormones it can produce by itself or it can stimulate to produce some cons uh, hormones here uh, some of the cancers is able to stimulate adh secretion uncontrolled adh secretion was a present cancers like lung pancreas duodenum brain etc so many cancers some uh, some of the drugs also can stimulate the production of adh that uh, mainly uh, chemotherapy drugs like vinblastine vincristine cyclophosphamide so here what happens when uh, increased amount of adh is being secreted uh, and the diuresis is happening diuresis will not happening water will not go out from the body it will be accumulated in the body so it will leads to hyponatremia we can specifically tell dilutional hyponatremia due to increase amount of water inside the body whatever sodium is there inside the body will not be um, in normal amount because it is diluted in that accumulated fluid the patient may be having weight gain without edema and related symptoms um in severe cases seizures and coma can be expected we can do diagnosis by serum test as well as urine test there will be decreased serum sodium level but there will be increased urinary sodium level so urine whatever it is going it will be a small amount so in that there will be increased amount of sodium but but we are while we are checking the serum sodium level serum sodium level will be decreased mm, and we can also see a decreased amount of other particles due to the dilution for example creatinine albumin bun all those serum amount will be uh, decreased because it is these all things are diluted in the um, accumulated fluid so treatment is we can treat underlying malignancy or we can do surgical resection of the tumor in order to stop production of the adh otherwise we can stop restrict fluids fluid restriction because already fluid is accumulated in the body we can provide diuretics to the patient we can provide antibiotic one antibiotic that is declomycin or demiclocycline this is an antibiotic actually but it is having an action to Mm, suppress the activity of adh or suppress the adh secretion so that is we can do, uh, we can uh, give this particular drug also so that is about um, siadh so there is nursing management also mm, here you can maintain intake and output measurement we can assess uh, levels of uh, level of consciousness lung sounds heart sounds all the assessments we can do daily weighing urine specific gravity also assess for nausea vomiting anorexia edema as well as lethargy based on the clinical features we have to check the patient we have to uh, check the laboratory results also serum electrolyte levels for smolality as uh, why because uh, due to dilution everything will be uh, decreased so that should be ruled out so minimize the patient's activity and provide appropriate oral hygiene as well as restrict the fluid if intake if necessary mm, so in metabolic emergencies the last condition is dic disseminated intravascular coagulation i think majority of these emergencies you have studied in different situations this also you might be studied okay here what happens uncontrolled uh, clotting and bleeding uh, 
mechanisms is occurring. This all also uh, termed as bleeding and clotting disease. Uh, this can be due to uh, any of the cancers or cancer treatment. Mainly chemotherapy side effect. I mean, Christine is being considered as one of the um, major drug which is causing DIC. Other drugs like methotrexate and prednisone also can cause this particular situation. And cancers like prostate cancer, lung cancer, and sometimes gastrointestinal cancers may be the cause of DIC. So clinical features, acute features as well as chronic features we can see. Acute means sudden bleeding. So that is considered as a life-threatening situation. Chronic means um, like the bleeding will be slow, but we can see the bleeding. Bleeding, bleeding may be from the gums or from the vein puncture. Mm, like slow bleeding to diagnose the case uh, we can do all the clotting times prothrombin time thrombin uh, time and ptt partial thromboblastin time all these times will be prolonged and uh, the cells clotting factors uh, platelets all these values will be decreased so management basically uh, we have to treat the underlying cause. Whatever cancer treatment is available, we have to treat according to that. Based on the uh, patient situation, we have to treat the patient. For example, if patient is having infection, we, we can start with antibiotic therapy. Anticoagulants are sometimes using. Antifibrinolytics are sometimes being, sometimes we are using. Uh, most common useful management is transfusion blood transfusion so blood transfusion depends upon the need maybe sometimes fresh frozen plasma or sometimes cryoprecipitates cryoprecipitate means what uh, this includes clotting factors as well as fibrinogen and regarding the nursing management we have to monitor the vital signs Measure and document the intake and output. Assess the skin color and temperature, level of consciousness, headache, visual disturbances, chest pain, decreased urine output and abdominal tenderness. Almost all the physical assessment should be done. So we have to inspect all the body orifices, tube insertion sites and bodily excretions for bleeding. So bleeding is common, right? So we have to check for bleeding. Review laboratory test results. We have to obtain the test result also. We have to analyze the results. Minimize the physical activity to decrease injury as well as oxygen requirements. Uh, we have to prevent the bleeding. We have to apply uh, pressure to the venipuncture sites if bleeding is there and avoid non-essential invasive procedures because uncontrolled bleeding sometimes we are not able to control.